This is the second part of how to glue in the tail cone. The, the original video was about eight minutes long, so I split it into two three minute sections and did some editing, and this is the second part. A very nice large blobs of glue in there. So now this is nice because I just insert the tail cone like this. And we see this is sticking out just a little bit too much. So I'm just gonna push this in just a little bit, just like that. And there we go. Everything is now slid into position. So there we go. Uh, we can now have this entire uh, tail cone glued on. We've got some space for the engine hook here. Uh, you can see the tube is sticking out. It looks like about one millimeter. It's nice and straight all the way around. What I'm going to do is after this dries, I'm going to put a very, very small ring of CA glue around this just to bond the uh, engine mount tube onto the tail cone. And then I'm going to be all set. So this, you can see I'm rubbing this off. There's tiny little globs of this that are still kind of floating around. And the rubbing alcohol kind of like solidifies that a little bit. So now I can just rub this off. But the tail cone is very nicely glued on and it's nice and tight. And now I have glue on each of these centering rings. When I push this forward, it made fillets on both of those. So each of those has a fillet in front of it. If we were to look down the tube, you would see that, but it's very difficult to see down the tube. Um, we also have the, the E6000 glue around the inside of this tube here. So when we pushed the tail cone on, that's now pushed into a nice wad of glue as well. So again, um, a lot of glue, and you have plenty of time to do it when you use the E6000. And again, this will dry with the strength of an epoxy. So this is going to be a very, very strong engine mount when it's done. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and I'll let this dry for at least an hour. There's a lot of glue in there, and this needs to dry and set. And that's it. I now have the tail cone mounted, and now I'm going to build the rest of the rocket. This is my second custom design, and I'll show you the custom design after this.